This is a tutorial on transforming quadratic functions. The first transformation we're going to talk about is one that we already know. Here we have the graph of y is equal to x squared in blue and y is equal to negative 1x squared in red. Whenever we have a positive coefficient on our x squared term, then our parabola will open upward. Whenever we have a negative coefficient on our x squared term, then our parabola is going to open downward. Notice that these two parabolas are almost exactly the same. They have the same axis of symmetry, they have the same vertex, and they're about the same width. The only difference is that they go in completely different directions, and that's because we have a negative coefficient on our x squared term. So now let's talk about narrowing and widening parabolas. Here in black, we have our parent function y is equal to x squared. Then in blue, we have y is equal to 4x squared. And in red, we have y is equal to 1 fourth x squared. Now, if we think of our quadratic as y is equal to ax squared, where a is just our coefficient, then if our a is greater than 1, then we are narrowing our parabola. And if our a is between 0 and 1, then we are widening our parabola. a, if it's less than 0, that would be negative. So we would just switch our direction. But if you're multiplying your x squared by a number less than 1, or between 0 and 1, like 1 fourth, you're going to widen out your parabola. And if you're multiplying it by a number greater than 1, say 4, you're going to be narrowing your parabola. The way to think of this is that you're increasing or decreasing your y values for every value of x. So again, if you want to widen your parabola, you need to multiply it by a number less than 1. And if you want to narrow your parabola, you need to multiply it by a number greater than 1. Now let's talk about vertical translations. Here again we have our parent function y is equal to x squared graphed in black. Then we have y is equal to x squared minus 2 graphed in red and y is equal to x squared plus 2 graphed in blue. Notice that the only difference between these three parabolas are these constant terms that are added or subtracted at the end of our equation. And notice if we subtract 2, we have the exact same parabola, we just move the vertex down 2. And if we add 2, we have the exact same parabola, we're just moving our vertex up 2. All we're doing is changing our final value of y for every x value by a constant number in this case negative 2 or positive 2. So if you ever want to translate a quadratic function vertically, all you have to do is add or subtract some constant at the end of your quadratic equation. Now let's talk about comparing the widths of two parabolas. Here we have y is equal to 2x squared minus 4 in blue and y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 2 in red. Now if we wanted to compare the widths of these two parabolas, well they appear to be the same width, but are they? They have the same axis of symmetry, they have different vertexes because they have been translated vertically, but which one is wider? Well remember, if we multiply our x squared term by a number that's between 0 and 1, we make our parabola wider. And if we multiply it by a number greater than 1, we make it narrow. This doesn't talk about what happens when we have a number less than 0. That's because when we have a negative number, that just changes the direction of our parabola. So the way to determine which one is wider is to take the absolute value of the coefficient. In the blue, we'd be taking the absolute value of 2. 
And for the red parabola, y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 2, we're going to take the absolute value of negative 3. Well, our absolute value of 2 is 2, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So we're comparing the coefficients of these two parabolas by comparing their absolute value. The blue one's coefficient is 2, and the absolute value of our red parabola is 3. Well, 3 is greater than 2, and when we multiply it by a number greater than 1, we're making it narrow. So the fact that we're multiplying it by a 3, or in this case a negative 3, that's making it more narrow than y is equal to 2x squared minus 4. So when you compare the widths of two parabolas, you just take the absolute value of both coefficients on the x squared terms and compare them. Whichever one is greater is more narrow. So this y is equal to 2x squared minus 4 would be wider. So lastly, let's talk about comparing two parabolas. Here we have our parent function y is equal to x squared graphed in blue. And then we have y is equal to 4x squared minus 5 graphed in red. What are the difference between these two parabolas? Well, they have the same axis of symmetry, but our vertex is moved. In fact, our vertex is moved down five spaces. So we have a vertical transformation of minus 5. Also notice that this red parabola here is much narrower than the blue one. That's because we've taken our x squared term and our parent function and we've multiplied it by 4. So we've narrowed our parabola by a factor of 4. So that's how we've transformed y is equal to x squared into y is equal to 4x squared minus 5. And that completes the tutorial on transforming quadratic functions.